to export an object from XD, first I have my object selected. And if I had multiple objects, I would select all of them and right click and group them together. But I have my object here and all I need to do is down here in the bottom left hand corner, click the assets button and then mark it for export with this share button right here. I can also check the box on the right hand side that says mark for export. At this point I can go file, export, and then either export my selected object or if I had multiple objects I can say batch. So I'm just going to say batch for this object right here and I can choose the format. The format I want to typically use is PNG and then I choose what type of export. Design, web, iOS, Android. We're using iOS so I'm going to select iOS. And then I can also select what degree it was uh, formed at. So 1x, 2x, or 3x. Most of the time, so if I was designing on this iPhone XS, I believe an XS is a 2x phone and you can find those on the Apple website which sort of scale things are exported at. Uh, so I'll just pick 2x for now. So everything was designed at 2x, I'll pick 2x. Rectangle 1, that's a fine name for it. Uh, you can also rename these things over here. And I'm just going to export those on a new folder on my desktop and I'll call it exported assets and hit export. And what it should do is export several copies of the same image. So here I have rectangle 1.png, rectangle 1 at 2x and at 3x. So assets, whenever we pull them into Xcode, come in at three different sizes for different platforms. One for large iPads, for large phones, for medium-sized phones, and for smaller phones. And that's what the 1x, 2x, and 3x represents. So I'm going to open up Xcode. I'm just going to quickly make a new project. But you can do this with an existing project very easily. And all I need to do is click on my XC Assets folder down here. It says Assets. Right click. And I can say Import. So I'm just right clicking on this left hand side. Import. And if I select one of my assets or even all three of them, it'll bring them in as one grouped asset. So see I have rectangle one and it came in at 1x, 2x, and 3x. So these will scale based on what app or what uh, platform the user is using. Okay, so let's go back to our main storyboard. And in my main storyboard, there's a couple different ways to add images. I could either do a UI image view. If I type in image view, it'll come up. That's very self-explanatory. I'll let you figure that out. Or on a button, which is probably the most common use. So I'm going to drop a button in. And on the right hand side in the attributes inspector, I change the background to my rectangle one. I can change the color of my text. Let's do it as like white. Or actually let's have a little fun with it and do orange. Super unreadable. But now my image is my button. So that's the basic process of getting something from XD into Xcode.